Hi guys, it's Granny Turner speaking. Welcome to this weekly Farming Sim News video. Here I tell you all about the important stuff that happened during the week in the Farm Sim world. And this world was all about FS23, not all but nearly all about. We got a gameplay trailer, a long-awaited gameplay trailer. This, this is what you are seeing here. I made a video about this, a rather long video where I checked all the screenshots and everything we can see. And some big YouTubers got early access on the Nintendo Switch and they are already playing Farm Sim uh, 23. And for example, DJ Goham and Clutch Simulations, DJ Goham opened a dedicated new channel especially for FS23, so go check them out. Yeah, and we got a lot of new information about this because of this trailer here and because of the videos that were made by people who could already play it and could see how it is in practical life. Yeah, and so if you play it, you can't cheat money, so you can't buy all this expensive stuff from the get-go. You have to work quite a while to buy your first cows, for example. Yeah, and but there was some other news uh, that has nothing to do with FS23. This is about the FarmCon that will be on July 1st and 2nd in Lauingen in Germany. And they said that Stefan Maurus will be coming, and I thought so because he's always coming, and we, he will have a talk about modding with Blender. So this will be very, very interesting for all modders out there, for modders who already use Blender and for modders who didn't yet dare to use Blender because it seems so complicated. And here we can learn quite a lot, I guess. Uh, Stefan Maurus is a lead integrator and a gameplay programmer um, at Giants Erling Erlangen and he is very important and you see him quite often when he when there are things to show to us and so. Okay, the next thing was uh, on Wednesday there was another community spotlight with the guru with two times three O's. So it's not so easy if you don't realize there are three O's two times then you don't find him but if you type in all those O's then you find him at Twitch. He is a, a young streamer from America and he told us a lot of how to pronounce Appalachia and I don't know whether I learned it correctly and I think he comes from there and he's yeah a nice funny guy who is streaming and having fun. Here you see a screenshot from the community spotlight and check him out at Twitch. I think he is mostly at Twitch. On YouTube I couldn't find him. And then there was Friday with the Fact Sheet Friday and we got information about the Messi Ferguson 3670 and a fertilizer spreader. And the Messi Ferguson is very important because you already have two of them at the beginning. I made a um, dedicated video about the fact sheets um, already on Friday. And here we have the Ropa Tiger 6S. This is for sugar beets, quite expensive and huge. And then there came a surprise. And I just show you the trailer and I tell you 
Yeah, and the Farming Sim 20, so the older mobile game, is on Apple Arca Arcade right now. And so if you have Apple Arcade and you're playing on Apple devices, then you can get the Farm Sim 20, the last mobile game, for free. And so this is for all Apple players. And yeah, if you have an Apple device and Apple Arcade, maybe it's a good idea if you're interested in how is a mobile farming sim working, then get it now for free. Then you can check it out and you know better whether you want to have a um, bigger one in a few weeks. Because the next one, the FS23, will be much bigger with the possibilities you have. And now I'll show you a little bit about the mod-up. What happened at Motab uh, this week. So this will not featuring all mods of Motab uh, that came out. Only we just have a look and then I pick one or two mods that I find very interesting and go a little bit deeper. And yeah, and I, I'm aware that the mods that I choose to show you are maybe not the ones that are most interesting for you, but such is life. Yeah, there was not so much going on at ModHub this week. And I guess this is because the ModHub team is testing for FS23. I don't have confirmation about this, but I think so. And I must admit, um, as much as I love to have a lot of mods and short testing times, I like to have games and DLCs that are tested thoroughly. And therefore, I think it's totally okay and I'm willing to be patient with the mods and with the testing of mods and give the ModHub team the time to test the new game. In this case, it's FS23. I'm sure they are testing it. And later there will be uh, another DLC for FS22. They have to test this as well. And therefore, they should take their time. And it's okay that we don't get 20 mods every day. So those are the newest mods. I pick this uh, circular pivot irrigation and but there are quite some interesting other mods as well. We got quite a lot of updates. Oh, we didn't have a new map uh, this week. And but uh, as a map I chose to have a look on Neu Minibrun and it got a smaller update. And this Overland trailer already got an update as well. And then we had yeah, lots of updates and here again new uh, mods. And we didn't get uh, mods every day this week. Yeah, quite some vehicles and machines even bigger ones and um, cow barn and uh, sheep and goat barn for the enhanced animal system. And then there were updates again and that's already it for this week. So really not much um, compared to other weeks. Yeah, and this is the update of the map Neu Minibrun. I chose this because I play on this map. And there were some minor changes, so you don't need a new save game. And he added a small and large bale and pallet storage and a new floor texture, concrete bricks. And the environmental lighting would, was fixed and he removed the switch for the billboards. So you could switch billboards off and on and he removed the switch. Maybe they had some issues, I don't know. And then we have this very interesting 
Lizard Circular Pivot Irrigation. And this is quite some a mod. And it has a really long description, as you can see. And I would recommend if you if you want to use it, read this description that you can use it correctly. And before the mod came out, I thought, oh, maybe it's just decorative, but it isn't. It has a function. Usually the function of those irrigation systems is to provide water to the fields. But we don't have this mechanism in FS22 right now. And therefore this system is used to spray fertilizer and herbicide. And this is realistic in a way that combined with the water, those irrigation systems usually spray some fertilizer as well. And but they mix it with the water. And in FS22 it's only fertilizer or only herbicide. And here we have a full setup that will be a rather big um big circle. And you can buy this in the shop. It is a vehicle that is self-propelled, but uh, to drive it to your field, you need a tractor also. And there are a lot of um, options that you can choose. The size and the speed and the color and such and so forth. And here, this is a smaller setup. A much smaller setup. And here you see how it is set up on the field. And it is best on round fields, sure. But you can also use it on square fields and then the corners that are left out. You have to fertilize yourself with, um, um, with a tractor and a fertilizer spreader or you just leave them unfertilized, as you so wish. And here you see it in action. So you place it in the middle of the field and then you unfold it and this whole machine builds up by itself. And then you switch it on. And I think you need to have automatic motors motors start off if not you would need to stay in this vehicle center yeah and then it fertilizes your field a very interesting mod if i find the time i will have a look uh, at it because yeah somehow it's a really new feature and then we have the famous daily updates list. So I will just have a short look on it. And I myself, I'm always most interested in discovering, uh, are there any new maps that are interesting? So maybe this, the polyzine is a map. And then we have Knieskopsheim. This sounds really hilarious. Even for Germans, it sounds hilarious. And I really wonder what kind of map will this be? It sounds very German, but no normal German would say Knieskopsheim, even if it's a very German sounding word. So is this, yeah, I wonder what will come out. And yeah, here we have East Groningen and the Regelsberg gets an update, I guess. And here you see my hinterland. More of this later. And yeah, a lot of machinery as usual and decorative objects and buildings and such. And here we see the sum of the uh, mods that are waiting to be tested. Those are not those, they are already in testing, but before you have to wait and to be in this row. And this waiting takes 12 work days now. So this is two and a half weeks. 
this is quite a long time. And this is what I meant when I said, okay, I find it important that they test the stuff and then I'm ready to wait longer. And for my hinterland, no, this is a different issue, uh, topic. So the hinterland update comes after this. Yeah, I guess this update for the valley, the old farm from black sheep modding is one of those 210 mods that are already waiting. And because they wrote on their Facebook page that they have an update ready and that is already um, uploaded to Giants and they have quite a lot of small bug fixes and the most important is maybe that the cover of the bunker silos was not working, now it is working. And for me the most Im interesting point is that the cow and sheep pastures are now compatible with the mod animal grazing, what I really like. So I hope uh, this map will be tested soon. And here my map Hinterland and its update is finally in testing. It it uh, took about three weeks or so to come into testing and but now it is and I hope next week they will go on with the testing and then the update will come out. The um, a landing stage will be um, solid again and the horses will be uh, much more worth as when you want to buy them. So after three years you get 40,000 bucks for the horses and there will be a small horse barn that you can have um, the horses rather easy. And in the modding sector I didn't have so many improvements that uh, like I hoped. I did quite something so I finished those um, shop buildings for my map Wunzig and now this is the row of the shops is completed and later I will decorate this with flowers and I will decorate the inside of the shops and this will take some time. And on my map Marigold Farm I will keep on working and you will have videos about this. And But this last week I didn't make so much progress because of all the news of FS23 and I hope I will can have more uh, progress in the next week. And about this uh, shop interior the first thing I want to do is an ice cream shop and this is the ice cream bar for inside uh, the shop where you can't go into the shop but you can see this from the outside. This is the last thing I built. Okay, that's it about the weekly farming sim news. And I'm really curious what will come to us in the next week. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.